In this tutorial we will create volumetric clouds using inbuilt textures of Maya Fluid Shape node. Create a 3D container. Set size to 20, 1, and 20 and resolution to 80, 4 and 80. You can also scale your grid if you want to. Under Display section, set Boundary Draw to Bounding Box, and also shut off Maya Grid. Under Texture section, turn on Texture Opacity. Scroll up and under Shading Group, set Opacity Input as Y Gradient, and adjust Opacity Graph, to get a nice pattern. Set Texture Opacity Gain to 1.1, and turn on Inflection This is useful for creating puffy or bumpy effects. Adjust Amplitude, and set its value around 0.9. It is a scaling factor applied to all the values in the texture. When you increase amplitude lighter areas get lighter and dark areas get darker, also adjust ratio, it controls the frequency of the fractal noise. Set frequency to 2.2 and depth to 4. Under Texturing section turn on Texture Incandescence. We will use it to give a hint of blue to our clouds. Set Incandescence input to Y gradient, and adjust its ramp. Now to create sky, we will use another 3D container. Set its size and resolution to 20, 3 and 20. Scale and adjust this new container. Shut off density and velocity under content method, and within texture turn on texture incandescence. Under shading adjust opacity curve and incandescence ramp. Set opacity input as Y gradient. Set color to black. Adjust transparency and edge drop off value.
to blend the two fluids containers, select the cloud container, and under render stat set volume sample override to 6. Since there is not much contrast in our sky pattern we can lower down the quality for fast rendering. Take a quick render. To get rid of the noise, set sample method to uniform. Space-time noise type may give better results than Perlin noise. 